Matt Schlapp is the chairman of CPAC. It's the largest and most influential gathering of conservatives anywhere in the world. And this last push, just ahead of the midterms, Matt's been campaigning for Republican candidates all over America. He's here in Nashville tonight. Please welcome to the show a very good friend, Matt Schlapp. Matt, great to have you here. Oh, your, your crowd is so much more friendly than Bill Maher. I just want you to know. <laughs> I've seen you on Bill yeah, Maher. that's a little more scary. This, I feel like I'm home. You are home. These okay. people love you, and they're going to be fine. You will not have anybody <laughs> beating you up out here. Let's get right into the midterms. Uh, it, 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 it looks like things are breaking the way of conservatives and Republicans. Yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah, you know, I haven't seen, I was just thinking about when you ran for office in Arkansas, yeah. we were seeing all these shifts in the country, and that 1994 cycle was such a big deal, Yeah, and I really think this is similar. Why do I think that? I think the, the Black Lives Matter violent protest, 24 dead people, a cop assassinated, more damage done in this country than any natural disaster. I think everything we saw that went on in schools and the revolt of the parents in Virginia, the woke stuff has a lot of Democrats and independents saying, whoa. I didn't sign up for this stuff. Yeah. Obviously, the big spending and the socialism isn't working either. So if you put that all together, I can really understand these Democrats are all saying no to debates. They really don't have anything they can say to get voters to want to be happy about voting for them. And, and the independents, there was a poll that showed this week that independents were 18 points kind of right. leaning Democrat back in the summer. They're now 38 points yes. leaning Republican. Matt, that's the biggest swing yes. I have seen in a short period of time that I can ever remember. Well, look at the, what's happened. Um, you know, these double-digit, sometimes six-digit increases in violent crime in all of yeah. our major cities, in lesser and red states. This, you know, epidemic of homelessness. People are fleeing these, these big, blue, broken, bankrupt states. Uh, and they're fleeing to these other states. So I think people started voting with their feet for the last two years. And look, Joe Biden, like him, don't like him. It's just, it's embarrassing to see him try to talk on, on the stage. And I think one of the things voters are also worried about is not just the dangerous pullout of Afghanistan, which Tulsi talked about, but, you know, we have a kick me sign on our back for the world's bullies. Yeah. And that's a dangerous place for America. It is a dangerous place. Uh, if Republicans win, I, I think they will both in the House and the Senate. I do too. Seats both places. But if they don't perform... I also think there's a certain person running for governor in Arkansas who's going to win too, but that's we just, hope you know... So. <laughs> we <Yeah>. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit of maybe uh, bias there. It's, it's going to be objective. okay. I think so. We okay. hope so. But never take anything yeah. for granted. But if Republicans do carry on and uh, get the House and the Senate, they still won't have the White House, but they're going to have some real power. All the appropriation power starts in the House. What could mess it all up for the Republicans if they just get there and they say, oh, boy, we get now invitations to the well, Georgetown You know, parties. I live in the swamp. Yes, and, you do. And uh, it's an occupational hazard. And what I think the swamp is hoping is the Republican Party goes back to like that pre-Trump, country club friendly, corporate America friendly Republican Party. When I go around the country, what I hear is what I believe, which is we like this new uh, Republican Party. It's more about the little guy than the big guy. So what, what the Republicans need to do, which CPAC has been pushing to these, uh, to these incoming Republicans, is don't meet with all these yeah. CEOs of these companies that are trying to wreck America. They want to defund cops. They want to bring gender confusion to your kids and grandkids. They, they want to take the family and get it out of decisions and insert government and social media guys. My advice to them, and we sent them a letter, is don't do their bidding anymore and get them back to neutral. If corporate America would get back to neutral, yeah. I think we could come to healing. 100%. I, I am so happy to hear you say that. I know that you and your wonderful wife, Mercedes, who I just adore. Uh, she's supposed to be right here with me, but. I know. She's, she's, uh, she's hanging out with the kids, and I'm taking a late flight to, to we're going to swap. I understand. We're going to let that happen next time she comes. Yeah. But you guys have both been strong advocates for the issue of life unapologetically, yes. and I've deeply appreciated that because yes. some Republicans are afraid to defend that we are a pro-life people believing that there's no such thing as a disposable, expendable no. human being, that every child matters. Thank you for running the largest conservative organization and not wavering on that. Do you mind if I say something on that? Because it is it's Please such do. an important issue. There's a mistake that's going on around the country, and that's this idea after Roe v. Wade was overturned, which was the most extreme abortion law that we saw yeah. in any developed country. No European country allowed the type of late-term abortions like we allowed here in America. When it was overturned, you had this cacophony of voices saying, 
oh, what are the Republicans going to do now? Because the American people don't really want regulations. And what you're seeing in these debo- debates and what you're seeing in these polls is being for nine months of abortion. We had a governor of Virginia that wanted post-birth abortion. Yeah. Remember, keep the baby comfortable. What we're seeing in all that is the American people simply don't agree with these types of radical policies. And I think we're gonna, what we're going to learn about this election is, number one, voters still love their country and they still love America. Number two, voters believe that the unborn child needs legal protection. Mm. Thank God. Before we run out of time, which we just about have, I want to give you an opportunity. Tell me how many seats we pick up in the House, how many in the Senate, what's your prediction? So the, all the smart people are saying there's about 30 House seats. I think we need six to get the majority. I'm a Republican, so I'm going to speak that way. Yeah. There's, we need a, there's about 30 that are up for grabs. Since they get everything wrong with the polls, there's more than 30 that are up for grabs. And in the Senate, they've always said, well, that's going to be too hard. I'm telling you here right now, both chambers uh, will become Republican. And I think in the Senate, we have a chance to run the table. And there's a race in New Hampshire that's now competitive. Yeah. There's a race in Washington that's now competitive. I think Blake Masters will win in Arizona. I think Dr. Oz will win in Pennsylvania. I think Herschel Walker will win uh, in Georgia. I think Adam Laxalt will win in Nevada. So, you know, I, I know these polls are close, but you know, when the wave comes, it really sweeps everybody in. And I think those candidates are gonna win. I have a lot of confidence in the way you see it because you've been uh, doing this a long, long time. I'm old, sir. You're not that old, but you're, you're wise and experienced, and it matters. We're so happy to have you here, Matt. Thank you Thank very, you. very it's much. It's great to be here. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd like to keep up with Matt Schlapp and CPAC online, just head over to Huckabee.tv. We're going to get you connected so that you can know all about it and maybe attend the CPAC conference in person. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.